Well, now you use a couple of other examples too of uh, scriptural uh, scriptural examples of shepherd leaders. Uh, you give Barnabas in Acts as an example of a shepherd leader and uh, a good example, and then you use the Lord Jesus himself as the consummate example. Can, can you explain mm -hmm. that? Well, I, I love just, you know, right at the, the beginning, Jesus said, here's my agenda. I haven't come to be served, but to serve and to give my life to other people. So he told the, the, what his agenda was right up front, and that's the agenda he lived out and displayed for us all the way through. When Barnabas comes on the scene, we see kind of the same thing. Um, you know, his name is Joseph. Again, we don't know a whole lot about his early life, but we do know that he has a, in, in the church, would have a title of prominence, um, and he's a landowner, so that gives him some kind of cachet in the community too. And yet he chooses to give those things up. He sells the land to give it to the church. And we see right from the beginning then, um, his focus on, it's always on other people. He's the first one that when Saul, the persecutor, shows up at the church and says, hey, I'd like to talk with you guys. I, I've had a change of heart. They don't really want to talk to him. It's Barnabas that puts his reputation on the line to say, you know, I met with this brother. His encounter with Jesus is the real deal, and I think we need to bring him in. Later on, Barnabas goes to talk to uh, the uh, new believers in Antioch, and he says, I need to go get Saul and bring him. Uh, this is a good training place for him. This is a good fit for his skills. But then we even see, you know, Luke is very precise when he lists names. He always lists the most prominent person first. In Acts chapter 13, when uh, Barnabas and Paul are going out on this missionary journey, Luke is very specific that Barnabas's name is listed first. He's kind of in the first chair of this ministry. And yet just shortly into their trip, you see the switch of names and it becomes Paul listed first. Barnabas realized, hey, it's time, almost like John the Baptist, it's time for me to decrease. It's time for Paul to increase and step into this role. And then ultimately Barnabas just sort of, he's not in the spotlight anymore, but his focus is just always on what can I do to serve other people, just like that example Jesus gave, I'm not here to be served, but to serve.